Namaste friends, this is Anish Mandal and in this video I am going to show you how you can use NFC tags to automate some tasks for your smartphone. So first of all what is NFC tag? Here you can read the whole wiki page about the NFC tags, it's called near field communication. But in a simple terms, NFC tag is a way of communicating between two elements. For example, passive and active. Passive you can say your mobile and active the object or the tag where you are going to connect your passive device. Active object means the NFC tag usually reads tags that has the information stored. It comes in a different size. I know basic 5 types of NFC tags that can be usable for us. Ultralight NFC tags has a 64 bytes of memory. Then the second one is Ultra C NFC tags that has 192 bytes of memory. Then standard 1K, it has 1024 bytes of memory to store. Then NTAG 203 where we can store 168 bytes of memory and Topaz 512. It has a 512 bytes of memory to store. So how NFC tag is going to help us? As you are aware, the NFC tag use the near field communication. That means if active and passive device are come together, minimum range or they touch each other, they can read and write data between them. In India, we can purchase five NFC and tag 203 which has 168 bytes of memory in 200 to 300 slots. So after purchasing, how we can going to use them? For example, think we are in an office and whenever we come to office, we require to enable our mobile in a vibrate mode only and enable Wi-Fi zone, disable the Bluetooth devices or some kind of task. So always we need to do it on manually or in home once we reached home enable the Wi-Fi or uh, at a time of sleeping we require to just disable unwanted services on our mobile for that we can use the NFC tag to do such kind of task for our mobile and for this example I'm going to show you how I program NFC tag that can be usable in office once I reach office I just need to connect my NFC enabled mobile to that NFC tag which will enable Wi-Fi and just make my mobile on vibrant mode. It will toggle between adaptive brightness where we can save battery or display brightness. Also it can be used with an alarm that will I'll cover in my next video like video for NFC programming. So let's get started. This is the NFC tag what I brought from Amazon around 249 rupees. Here I get 5 NFC tags. It is a 23 mm NFC tag. It's usually a thin tag or it circle and 203 tags. That can be used to do some simple task. All you just need to remove this tag which has a back sticker sound shape and just stick on any surface that's all and how it can work all you just need your NFC enable mobile phone and you just need to tap it this is my Moto X here you can see this NFC tag is empty and if you program the NFC tag for example, this one, this is the program NFC tag. Once I tap, you can see there are some actions will happen. Wi-Fi toggle and all things. How it has been done? We require two simple applications. One is for programming, it's NFC tag and one is NFC task. Which execute task once we connect, mob once we touch the mobile with that NFC tag. So let's go NFC tool and write. A program first I'll erase my current tag yeah, erase tag and press this so now this became a blank tag erase completed 
now i'll write some tasks add network wi-fi we require toggle for example enable so it will disable the wi-fi or if disabled so it will enable the wi-fi so network wi-fi click on it toggle press ok first tag added it's around 44 5 bytes then we'll go in display brightness mode and we will toggle between automatic and manual display also we will add one more task where we can enable or disable vibration mode with sound profile so here you can see there are multiple options we can choose we just go in sound profile and toggle between normal and vibrate mode okay there are three tasks that i need to add it if you want you can see this is a 61 byte and you can if a pro version you can add multiple tasks what you want and if your mobile is root or there is a various task that can be used as well and root mobile here you can see you can enable gps airplane mode but for us it is a simple work or you can click on wake on LAN. it is on a pro version where you can enable your computer wake on LAN start now for this tutorial is three to three tasks we just write on our mobile click on it and just hold the tab writing completed write complete it's done now to test it we require that nfc task application is installed and now all we just need to stick this task where first i will disable the wi-fi and the brightness is very low once we touch this Here you can see the Wi-Fi is enabled. Now, now again one more. Here you can see brightness, sound profile is changed, and Wi-Fi is enabled. That's all for this video, guys. See you next video. Thank you.